Hi learners! Now, we are going to learn the uses and handling of solids, liquids, and gases. We use many solids, liquids, and gases every day. Some are useful. Some might be harmful and dangerous if we use them incorrectly. For example, we use a chair to sit on. We use paints to beautify our house. We use gas for cooking. What are the uses of solids, liquids, and gases? How do we handle them? Solids have fixed shapes and fixed volumes. We use them to provide support because they can keep their shapes and cannot be compressed. For instance, we use a bed to sleep on and a table to put our books on. They are hard and able to support the weights. We use solids to contain other things without damaging them. Solids do not change their shapes easily. Examples are the gift boxes, shoe box, the candy jar. Imagine that our chairs, beds, and tables are in the liquid or gaseous state. Would we then be able to use them like when they are solids? Liquids have no fixed shape. They have fixed volumes. Liquids can flow easily. They are used when we need to use something that flows or something that can feel a mold. When jelly is heated, it becomes liquid and takes up the shape of its mold. Once it is cooled, it becomes solid and maintains the shape of its mold. A drink has to be a liquid so that it can flow down our throat easily. Some medicines are in the liquid state. They are easier to swallow and flow smoothly down our throat into our stomach. Gases have no fixed shape and no fixed volume. Gases are easy to compress. They spread out to fill their containers. Gases are used when we need something that is able to return to its original state after being pressed or hit. Basketballs and tires are examples of how air is used to fill them up to make them bounce back into shape even after they are pressed or hit. Gases can be compressed into different containers easily. Aerosols have air compressed in them. Once the air is released, it sprays the contents out in a fine mist. There are many uses of solids, liquids, and gases. We must be careful and take precautions when handling them. They might pose danger or cause harm if we do not handle them with care. We might get a cut if we are not careful with sharp items such as knives, scissors, gardening tools, and lids of open cans. These items have sharp parts or edges. Pots, pans, and kettles get very hot when they are used during cooking. We should be careful when handling them and wear oven mittens to protect our hands. Never plug too many devices into an electric outlet. It can lead to overheating and fires. 
faulty electrical appliances should be repaired immediately to avoid electric shocks and also fires. Never repair them by yourself. Overloaded electric outlets are very dangerous. Items made from glass are very fragile. When they break, there will be many pieces of small, sharp glass. These are examples of common housewares made from glass. We might hurt ourselves if we touch the broken glass. Therefore, we should be very careful when handling items made from glass. Detergents, bug sprays, and medicines should be kept out of reach of children and pets. These items might contain dangerous substances that can cause serious harm when consumed accidentally. We can get scalded with hot oil and boiling water. Children should always ask an adult for help when they want to make a hot drink or cook something to eat. If cylinders of cooking gas are not well maintained, they may leak and this may lead to explosions. That is why we should remember this. Never place a gas cylinder too near the stove. Always place it in an upright position. Keep the gas cylinder in a ventilated area. Check the gas regulator and hose from time to time. If you smell gas in your house, Quickly turn off the stove knobs, open all the windows, and call for assistance. Today, we have learned that there are many uses of solids, liquids, and gases in our daily life. Solids, liquids, and gases must be handled with care. You are awesome! This is all for today, and see you on my next videos. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe. Have fun, and see you soon!